There's a major addition coming to our skyline. Amazon's distinct Helix building was just approved by the Arlington County Board. You can't take your eyes off of the, the drawings there. The building will go up right near Reagan National and the Pentagon in Crystal City. And there's a focus on making sure that area can handle all the traffic and the thousands of expected jobs. Our transportation reporter Adam Tuss takes a closer look at all the details. Well, right now here at Army Navy Drive in South Eat Street in Crystal City, this is what you get. A lot of trees, an empty, vacant lot right there. But in just a few short years, this is what you're going to get. 350 feet in the air. That is Amazon's HQ2 centerpiece, the Helix, and it's just been approved by the Arlington County Board. When you talk to the people who live and work in this area, you can sense the excitement. I don't think there's a building like it in the world, so it's going to be very unique. And our area has historically had very boring buildings. I mean, boring buildings. It's been government office buildings. The Helix, as it's known, will certainly stand out, but it's part of a larger campus for this area. And now there's a hard look at the transportation infrastructure here. Is there enough to support the 25,000 jobs expected to come with all this? Not to mention the public interest that it'll likely generate. That's a very good question. In general, we're, we think it can, but we have concerns about specific streets. Namely, more bike lanes. Amazon's campus is expected to attract a huge cycling community, and right now, 12th Street, right next to the Helix, does not have a protected bike lane schedule. There are, however, two metro stations close by, a VRE stop, and more bus transit is being planned. There's also talk of letting Maryland's Mark trains come all the way to Crystal City and use the VRE station here. And oh yes, this area will have a park, and the Helix itself, with its distinct wraparound areas, is expected to be open to the public several times a month. And you can see how all of these elements come together in a cohesive and welcoming park space. Project leaders admit plans may change as the area grows. Even the glass of the Helix itself is being designed so that birds don't fly right into it. For now, though, full steam ahead for a project that will have a major impact on our entire area. In Crystal City, Adam Tuss, News 4.